USA F1 visa interview question and answer. Questions about your study plans and university choice. Case 1. What are your reasons for choosing this specific university? ANS 1. Your reply to this question should communicate your excitement for going to this particular university. You should be able to speak specifically of your choice and benefits to you from the university's ranking, faculty, facilities, programs, affiliations, alumni profile, etc. It should convey you would have liked to go to this university, no matter which country it were located in. For this you can read up on the famous professors with details books and famous research papers published by them, accolades and awards they have won. You can also find out about notable and well-known alumni to be able to speak of them specifically. K's 2. Why don't you do this course in your country? ANS 2. This is an important question. You can speak about the difference in quality of education, course structure as well as differences in facilities and faculty. Often the course with the different subjects you wish to pursue is not available in India and create a compelling argument to the visa officer. Case 3. Which all universities did you apply to, both admits and rejects? ANS 3. The visa officer will be gauging your response and will be able to cross-check and determine if you have lied. So even if the reply to this question is not complementary to yourself. For example, you received an acceptance from only one of the four universities you applied to, you must still state this truthfully. Higher caliber universities' acceptances do have higher visa acceptances as well. Case 4. Where did you complete your schooling from or bachelor's from? ANS 4. The visa officer will ask you to mention the name of the university or college that you have studied in prior to seeking admission in USA. If your university has a high ranking feature and is recognized you can mention that to build your academic credentials. Your answer should be to the point and not elaborate conveying that you are proud of the past but are keen to embrace the future. Questions about your financial status and sponsorships. Case 1. Whom are you being sponsored by? ANS 1. The only way to finance your education would be by either scholarship or sponsorship. If you have a scholarship then specify from whom and for what amount with all relevant details. If sponsorship, then all details must be mentioned, such as name, relation etc. Once it is established that your parents are sponsoring your education, the following further questions will be raised. Case 2. What is the profession followed by your father slash mother, what do they do? ANS 2. The financial capability of the sponsors will be established by the income tax returns, bank statements and property papers being submitted. You should be able to specify their job and profession in a concise but clear way. Such as, my father is a businessman who is in the space of chemical trading for 20 years now, or, my mother is a chartered accountant working with Deloitte and Company in the capacity of senior manager. Case 3. What is the annual income of your father slash mother slash sponsor? ANS 3. The annual income if it can cover the majority of your education costs, along with loan documents submitted, are perfect proof of ability to meet education costs. Case 5. How do you intend to repay the education expenses you will incur? ANS 5. You should show your knowledge of how much your school costs, the sources being accessed to pay these off in the meantime as your future plans regarding paying them off. In this question you must not bring into annual salaries in US and show any intention of earning your money in the USA, either as a student with an on-campus job or afterwards. You could mention how your education in the U.S. improves the pay scale and job profile that you fit in in your own home country.